A school in Berkshire County has come out and addressed recent allegations of abuse of three disabled students. 22 News reporter Dave McKay is live in Great Barrington after speaking with the school's attorney and staffers. Allegations of abuse were reported by the school back in January, and then this past weekend, about 50 state, federal, and local law enforcement came in looking for that evidence. Now, the Eagleton School is a year round residential school that serves boys and young men from nine years old to 21 years old with learning disabilities, emotional delays, and behavioral disorders. There are 76 students in the school with 160 staffers. The average tuition is about 140 thousand dollars. The alleged abuse of three students occurred in the autism program. They all have continued to go to school. Now police are looking at surveillance and the hard drives of computers from the school. I mean, even the outside areas are videotaped. We don't videotape the inside of the rooms, but the allegation against one staff member is that she deleted or altered in some way that videotape. And we're trying to get to the bottom of that. On Monday, four staff members, Brian Punton, James Swift, Juan Pablo Lopez, Lucas, and Peter Meadow, pled not guilty to charges of assault and battery of a disabled person. The fifth staff member involved, Deborah Davis, pled not guilty on charges, including intimidating a witness. All five have been ordered by the court to stay away from the school and all of its students. They are due back in court March 10th. Coming up at the 6 o'clock newscast, we'll hear from a staff member and what sort of training that they go through. Live in Great Barrington, David McKay, 22 News.